Hello, and it is November 5th, which means that it's day 36. And we are still not through the elections in the States, which means that the anxiety is still super high and the stress is really high. Um, my stomach has just been in knots for the last two days, going on three days. Um, I did some stress baking last night and ate a ton of honey wheat pretzels and caramel sauce and woke up this morning with a gut ache. Still like, feeling hopeful that the elections are going to go in a way that are positive, but it has just been a really nerve-wracking time and confusing time and trying to figure out how to manage recovery in the midst of that. Again, like last night, I, I didn't have a lot to do and I kind of, I, I, my anxiety was high and I had a bit of a panic moment. I, I didn't want to be alone. Um, or I hadn't planned on being alone and with the anxiety being high and like I, I talked to some of my family members and that was good, but just having the kind of a long evening and it being dark and fall now, it really caught me off guard because I have such a hard time resting and resting and just relaxing and being and that's usually the time that's most susceptible for me after eating dinner. It's like I just want to keep eating. Um, and satiate that like either not feeling alone or just the nervousness and anxiety that I'm feeling. And and so it's like, that's when I get the feeling that like, I wish I could just eat air. Like I wish I could just eat something that I could constantly be eating because it's satiating. And, and I feel that trigger too, when I don't want to drink you know, it's like, I, if I'm just trying to relax, it's like, and if I don't want another glass of wine or beer or something like that, I just want to eat. I know that it's the anxiety that's like switched into this mode because that's specifically different. Um, and so I made, I just like, I tried to relax. It was seven o'clock and I was like, shoot, that's still so early. What am I going to do for these hours? So I, I'm not a big TV watcher and I don't know, I, I still need to figure out what to do in that time and I didn't have, I don't have any side projects necessarily to work on right now or it's like a break from it and it really just needs to be a time of rest and an evening free and I just had a hard time with it. I, I got through it pretty well at like nine, I was finally able to just relax and watch a movie in bed and chill a bit. I, yeah, I made some carrot cake basically um like carrot oatmeal breakfast loaf whatever um and that that helped and, and I did snack and and it was nice to like have healthier snacks around so um so I didn't like I didn't have such a gut ache or wasn't painful and I didn't feel like I needed to purge or anything so it was it was good and this morning I felt okay but I just still feel so anxious about what's going to happen with the world and and certain and so it's just it's been a weird way to manage the extra stress of politics and life um with it i did go grocery shopping yesterday and i was thinking about my recovery and how last time i was you know thinking about chicken breasts and what i should get and so this time i went in and i just got the chicken thighs and i made plans for dinner and um it was like a relatively easy grocery shopping experience. I didn't feel as worked up about that, which was funny because I, I would have thought with the anxiety being high that I had gone into the grocery store being really nervous because I knew I just wanted to, I was afraid I would just buy a bunch of snack things and, and just snack on that and eat. And I still wanted to get my run in. So it was kind of a really tricky time for me to do it. I, but I was able to like just do the grocery shopping, come back, put them away, and then get ready for my jog and go on my jog and then come back and make dinner. So it, you know, it's just like sometimes there's just no reason that it's easier. <laughs> and, and yeah, sometimes it just, it just isn't as much of a fight, but it, or I was able to just get through it. And so I was grateful for that. And I was grateful that even though the evening was hard, it, it wasn't super hard and there wasn't a hiccup. So that, that is really good. And today, um, today I'm just a little bit nervous that I'll, I'm going up to my friends that I'll, you know, drink too much or eat more because the, the anxiety is still there. And, and by eating more, I mean, you know, it's never, 
just eating to a point of discomfort where I'm um, triggered to purge. I guess I should, you know, clarify when I say eating more. So, um, yeah, I wanted to start doing more like themed reflections. I guess this is just like how to manage your recovery when there's an external anxiety is going on. It's not even stuff that it's not something I can control at all. Like I can only control my response to the election and how I manage my anxiety in it. So yeah, managing external anxieties.